Hey guys, Chad here with Extras Trail Cameras and just a quick vlog video. Cameron and I are in some river bottom swamp ground and we just hung a cell camera on a scrape but there's a really defined trail coming through here kind of leading to the scrape and I don't know if you can really see, you can kind of see this trail. It's a dirt, it's worn down to the dirt, dirt trail and we have a scrape, a primary scrape location just behind me right there. So working looking branch, grounds pawed up. We have a cell camera monitoring that scrape, but we wanted to do a quick video on trail camera placement on trails. So I thought that visually this would be a good example because you could see the dirt trail worn to the ground. And there's a couple different trees here, I guess you can hang cameras on. And one of the mistakes that we see people make is, for instance, as we look at this trail behind me, and I'm gonna get you around this tree a little bit. So you see this, this tree here, and this trail is basically in line. The tree's basically in line with this trail. So a lot of guys would want to physically hang their camera on this tree so they could watch this whole entire trail. So the missed, uh, misinformed or the uninformed person would actually do that because they think they're hanging the camera in the right manner they're able to get longer movements and the camera is going to get more photos but it is exactly the opposite so if you know anything about pir sensors and sensors that are used pr sensors that are used in trail cameras every major manufacturer or player in the game today uses a dual element sensor and the the issues that you have with a dual element sensor is they struggle with head-on movement so anyone who's been running trail cameras for a long time has probably picked up on this or if you haven't there you go um, there's a tip and we actually wrote a blog about this oh a few years back so if you were to google uh, trail cameras and PIR sensors that's the very first article that pops up and it gives a really really detailed breakdown of the hardware side and actually how these sensors work but in this video we just want to give you um, a breakdown of what this trail looks like leading into this scrape, how most people would probably choose that tree to hang their camera on but as we kind of survey this area we if we were to monitor this trail we would actually hang this camera on this tree so we would put this camera on this tree where that trail is perpendicular to the camera setup and you would be actually monitoring exactly what you're seeing now you would have that trail coming through the camera frame or the t detection area horizontally allowing that sensor to that PIR sensor to work much more efficient in in the way that um, it's designed to work so let's say you're um, you're in an area and you have this trail and you absolutely have to monitor it you're in a tight travel corridor maybe there's no other available option to hang this camera to monitor this trail other than to have that camera in line the one thing you can do, and I, it's not highly recommended, I would say go get a T-post or something and get that camera off to the side and pick up that horizontal movement. But if that's not an option and it's either you hang the camera or you don't, one thing you can do is get your camera up in the air. Get it 8, 9, 10 feet up in the air and angle it down to where that sensor is not working in a linear man manner, but it's on an angle and it's you're really creating a pretty static area or a static environment for that camera to monitor but it's going to allow you to um it's going to allow the pir sensor to work just a little bit better um than just hanging it you know four five six feet off the ground looking linear straight down that trail so uh, again it's not something i would really recommend but if you're in a tight spot or a pinch and you don't have a choice that's uh that's what i would do if you guys have any questions or comments on that drop them below be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification to uh, get all the updates and notifications when we release videos like this. Appreciate you guys. Good luck this year.